hello and welcome to my tra my channel green line goddess tarot my goodness those cards came out I wasn't ready for it um yeah so let's look at the weekend reading the 22nd and 23rd of april we are in beautiful taurus season we also are in mercury retrograde so i just feel like I'm, i need a rest <laughs> don't know about you but i'm like i just would like a weekend with not much happening look at this rest retreat moving in towards healing doing you know replenishment emotional replenishment wow okay there's a big search here that's going on ace of wands wow okay i feel like you've been taken on a bit of a journey let's see what else is coming in before we can look at the whole thing yeah tired though <laughs> so i feel like even though you've been in the ten of wands yeah needing a bit of a like end of the journey let go of the bundle look how tired this character has been carrying around some heavy stuff it's time to let it go wow i think it's time to let something go have a big rest you're tired but at the same time there's these beautiful new energies coming through which are really lovely i mean we can see the eight of cups the journey begins like the ten of wands is carrying some heavy things around and then we move to can barely put one foot in front of the other, tired, heavy responsibilities, burdens, uh, you know, however that presents. And then we move to the Eight of Cups saying, I, I just, I need to walk away and detach or disengage for the moment. You know, <laughs> I just need to kind of not be emotionally involved with that. Uh, it's just not, you know, I, it's not feeling fulfilling for me at this moment. And it's walking away, the Eight of Cups, it says, I've tasted all those cups, there's something missing. I've had a real taste of it in the moon energy and I'm walking away. And then the Knight of Cups is like on the journey, on the search for the missing cup. I'm holding the cup in front of me going, I'm looking for something that's going to replenish me or renew, renewal of some sort, about to cross, cross into a threshold and do something new or into new territory. And then it's like they find it straight away. They find the Ace of Cups. It's right there. And the Ace of Wands is like, this is what I want. This is what I've been looking for, thank goodness, because I here I am in the Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior, suspiciously looking at this thing going, I know I want that, but I'm tired. So, or I feel like I don't have the energy to kind of, I'm still completing, I'm still in a process of something ending. And even though I can see there's something really beautiful birthing here, uh, and this could be something really beautiful, the thing I've been searching for, I really need emotionally at this moment in time. I just, there's a part of you that's still like, I, yeah, don't, it, it's sort of low in energy. So it's um, interesting energy. I think it's a beautiful energy of replen replenishment, rest, and also being very strongly guided by your intuitive feelings, your heart, or just your emotions in general about what it is that you need and what is it you want for the weekend. And this could be a bigger picture thing that you're kind of moving towards a whole big new cycle. Um, but it's just understanding that certain bigger cycles are ending. Put your feet up, let some stuff go. Don't think about something, put it over to the side and just step into this beautiful Ace of Cups, which is uh, something really nourishing, healing, something that brings happiness. It could be connecting to love, to joy, or just, you know, feeling the emotions, getting some emotions out in some way, shape or form. And these could be emotions associated with anger as well that could have been brought up around the eclipse next to the Ace of Wands too. So it just, I feel like this kind of this decompression release just kind of, <laughs> that's the energy that I'm feeling for the weekend and yeah, uh, ultimately renewal and nourishment is replenishment is the words that I'm getting. So enjoy your weekend and look forward to seeing you next week. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love reading your comments. It helps with the growth of the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in the beautiful Patreon community that we're building and growing, um, love it if you could check that out. The monthly readings for May are coming out over the weekend, some of them anyway, the ones that I've able to get done this week, and there's more coming out next week. So keep an eye out for them, them, <laughs> and yeah, talk soon. <laughs>